Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Um, hello everyone. It is um, morning, <laughs> Thursday, January 11th, and I thought today would be a good day to do a studio vlog, kind of like what I was doing over the summer with my summer studio vlogs, but this is going to be, um, I want to start doing these and it's going to be more like a day in the life of a full-time artist something like that. Um, I don't know. I just thought that would be fun to share kind of what I do during my work day. I am getting started with my work day now. I actually did a lot today because I got up, um, had my coffee, brought my partner to work, got gas and went to HEB. So I got groceries this morning and now it's 9 a.m. and I'm starting my work day. So it was an early morning and I think that's why I'm feeling pretty like energized to have a productive day. Um, my two main goals for today are work on this large sunset painting behind me and do some studio organization. We'll see kind of what else we do. So um, yeah, let's get started. Let's um, do kind of some preliminary studio cleaning first. I need to like get stuff off the floor and just like make this more reasonable. Um, we'll do that for a little bit, um, before we start painting. my last two videos um, I had the camera set up 
kind of just like this. It's on a little like mini tripod on my desk. And I was talking to the camera and filming my video, but like I had a little bit of like movement in the, the footage because I think that I had like crossed my legs and I was like kicking the desk, like just a little bit. And so it was like moving around. So I need to try to not <laughs> touch the desk. This desk is super like sturdy. So I didn't like think about that. So I'm gonna try to not kick my desk while you're sitting on it. Okay, so we're going to check my emails and my website. Um, not that I get a ton of emails or anything, but just to kind of make sure everything is okay. Um, I do need to reach out to a client who um, I had painted this cat. So I'm working on a whole video about the process of making this cat and like my pet portrait process pet portrait commission process in general um, and the cat is done so what I might spend some time doing later is um, editing the footage from that video um, I just need to put a wire on the back so we'll do that in a minute but I'm gonna reach out to her let her know that it's done um, because she doesn't live in town but she comes in town pretty often so let her know that next time she's in town she can pick it up and then I'm gonna send her um, an invoice so do that okay um I just messaged her on Instagram to let her know that it's done and then we're gonna go send her an invoice okay perfect so this is my um like bullet journal type thing I, I will lay out my weeks in this I just started doing this but it's like working for me right now um so this has my like weekly to-do list on it so I can check this so that I can make a list of what I should do um today I went to the store and I forgot to get light bulbs so really the only thing from my weekly um like list of things that I wanted to do that I plan on doing today is like kind of the last thing on the list, which is to edit and upload my um, video about my pet portrait commission. So we will definitely work on that probably after lunch. It's 10.45, so we can do a little bit before lunch. Let's um, clean my painting area. Um, oh, and then we'll put a wire on Spooky. Oh, and then I can get started um, uploading my footage um, while, probably while I start lunch, maybe, um, because we'll have the rest of the spooky footage to upload so that I can actually make that video this afternoon, or I have it started, but so that I can keep working on that video, but then also I can start uploading footage from this video because some of these are some, like, longer clips that I might speed up or just cut down a lot um, so that might take a while so that'll be good to go ahead and get that started so that I can get this video also up soon. You know what I can do is look at markets um, because I want to sign up for some markets and I've been saving some options for markets on Instagram and stuff but I haven't signed up for anything so I will look at that before lunch too. Let's get started first on cleaning my painting area.
I wound my yarn. Yay. Let's go back into the studio. Cool. So it's almost one now. It's 12.56. So I have this and I can get started on my swatch while I work on editing the, um, the commissions video. So I'm just going to work on my computer for a little bit doing that. So probably won't just like film myself maybe a little bit of my knitting while I do my swatch. Um, oh, I wanted to let you guys know, um, I was really productive before lunch. I had to plug in my, um, camera battery, but I applied for a few different markets because I, before lunch, I wanted to clean my painting area. I did that. Why are spooky? I did that. Those were on film. Upload my footage. I did that. So I take out my computer battery I take out the SD card to put the footage on my computer. So I did that and while that was uploading I was looking at markets on my phone and like writing down um, some options and stuff. Um, so I applied for um, a first Friday market. I also looked at um, so for Brick at Blue Star, which is a event space that does a lot of markets in San Antonio, they do a market every Sunday, um, and it is first come, first serve, and you can just set up there. Um, so I've been before, like as a shopper, it's not super busy, um, but I think I am going to start going whenever I'm available and I have the energy, um, because I can just set up my booth and talk to people and kind of see how it goes it is $35 to do so if I do the first one and I don't make anything especially if there's not actually people there to like talk to and stuff um, then I probably won't keep doing it but if I sell a little bit if I get to know some people I think that is worth doing for $35 we'll, we'll kind of see one other thing that I looked into see I was so productive I was doing all this research and stuff on my computer um, I am going to apply to be a juror for a high school art competition. Um, so yeah, those are some different things I looked into. So I need to look, I need to wait to hear back about the um, cafe market. Um, and I need to do some application stuff for the juror um, competition thing. So I'm going to do that this afternoon. But that was really productive. And then I have, you know, my footage uploaded and everything. So I, um, for after lunch, I was going to work on my painting, clean my studio, and work on my video. Um, so I think I'm going to work on my video right now um, and knit up this swatch. I'll take a little bit of footage of me knitting my swatch, but yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later. <laughs> for this canvas so here I'm tracing the canvas into my sketchbook I am going to kind of see where exactly I want that face to be wow okay it's like 2 48 and I have spent almost two hours working on my commission video um, it's looking really good it's definitely not done I don't know that I will be able to finish today. I'm just getting to that point where I'm really tired of looking at my computer. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break 
and then I'll decide I'll either work on my big painting and do like a session of painting or I'll get back to my video and try to get more done on that. Um, I did make my swatch for my hat while I was editing. <laughs> I pretend like I do all this knitting while I'm editing. I just edited for two hours and I made this tiny swatch. <laughs> but that's the swatch either way. Um, let's take a little break. I think I'm just going to like go sit somewhere else instead of at my desk and watch YouTube and knit for a little bit. And then we'll get back to work and see what we, what we feel like doing. It is the first episode of 2024, and since it's a brand new year, we're making some changes to the podcast format. Hopefully it will be things that you will be... wanted to step back to show you where we're at now so the sky it definitely has that glow what I need to do is darken like around the really bright part let's go look at my cute computer my reference image see how like the sky is lighter at the top and then the bottom is like more purpley gray where this is like very bright blue, which I like the bright blue. I think that my parents are gonna like that color, but I think to give it like more of a sunset look, like down here, this needs to be darkened and go more purpley gray. And then this layer here, which is kind of like the far off land part, um, I wanna recolor that probably a bit darker and more greenish so that you can tell that it's land because it kind of looks like water um but yeah i just know that this is land because i know that they're up on a mountain it does kind of look like water in the photo but i think that they'll like that it's more like you're looking from a on a mountain um but yeah 
I think I'm at a good stopping point for now. Um, fills in the trees a lot better. They were looking really ugly earlier. They're not great. I'll probably do some more on the trees soon, but definitely looking more like a sunset. The trees are looking less stupid and I'm feeling good about it. And I've been working on this for almost an hour, so I'm gonna take a break. Alrighty. <laughs> It is 527. So we have completed the 9 to 5. We did it. And I just finished um finished some of that application stuff that I started working on before lunch. Um I applied to be a juror for a Texas like high school art competition, so I hope that I can do that. I think that would be fun. Um I had to like watch a training video thing and read like read about the rules and stuff and then fill out an application so um i did that i did get an email back about one of the markets that i was looking at doing saying that they were full so i'll have to reach out whenever they post that they're doing another one which is no big deal um but yeah so i just set up my to-do list for tomorrow so i'm ready to go um tomorrow morning and i think what i'll do for the next like little bit like before dinner um is work like in my sketchbook some and make a little bit more art you know what i might do is um on youtube there is this like channel called art hang party um and this artist uh, melissa martin she hosts the art hang party and it's like a youtube and twitch like live stream sketching party and so she puts up reference photos and then you have like a timed amount of time to draw the thing so it's just fun like drawing practice she picks really cool photos the um like the last one that i saw was like vintage packaging um which is so cool so, um but yeah my work day is over so i'm not gonna film this anymore but what i think i'll do is pop back later after I do some sketches and just show you what I made just for fun to wrap up the video. That was like an hour and 45 minutes which is kind of crazy but it was really fun. I definitely recommend doing the art hang party. I'll have to link it in the description so y'all can see it if you're interested in quick sketches. So let me preface. So it's cat week so all the drawings are cats and we did a two and a half minute timer for each one. So all of these are little two and a half minute sketches of cats. It's like this one is two on top of each other. This one's putting his head in a glass of water. This one's stretching his booty. Yeah, this one we got an extra minute on. Um, so it's like a Twitch thing. Like someone like redeemed their points or something and added an extra minute. So I love how that one came out. Um, but yeah, with the yawning cat cat butt. My cat butt came out really good because I didn't have to stress about the face. Little baby kitten. So fun. Yeah. So now it's 7.45 so I'm definitely, definitely done with this vlog now because I wanted it to be a 9 to 5 day in the life of a full-time artist. Um, yeah, I would say today was maybe not my typical day. Um, I did a lot today and and I will like work from nine to five that's something that I do and a lot of artists don't follow a schedule like that I don't think that you need to work nine to five if you work independently by yourself from your home you can work whenever you want and whenever you feel productive so don't make this feel like you need to start getting up early or something but for me that works well for me also because my partner has a regular day job and works eight to five, eight to six, whatever, then I'm having focus time at the same time that they're help they're having focus time and that just helps me um, just stay focused, like stay on task and stuff and then we kind of relax and have dinner and everything together um, in the evening. So that works for me and my sleep schedule and my business, but obviously do whatever works for you. Um, but I'm glad that I got to film today. I feel like because I filmed, I was more productive. So I feel like that's kind of good for me um, because then I get a lot done, I have a lot to share, and then 
um, tomorrow, well tomorrow I have more editing to do on the Pet Portrait Commission so I'll probably edit this video um, on Monday and then I'll have a lot to do Monday too. <laughs> so yeah, um, just wanted to say thank you guys so so much for watching the whole video. I don't know how long this is going to be, probably a little long, but it was really fun to make. I had a really good day and I hope that you are having a really good day. So that's really it. Um, thank you so much. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.